All right, hello everyone. Um, just putting up a quick video. Um, you know how Facebook does their on this day, here's your memories thing? Um, it reminded me today that I came out as pansexual exactly a year ago. And I'm gonna tell my story. This is my coming out story, I guess. Um, I'm trying to ignore my chin. Uh, <laughs> I'm in the car and you guys are perched on the steering wheel, so Shane's getting his teeth cleaned. I'm hiding out in the car. Uh, moving on. The day I came out, I was in class. I was in my um, my hair school doing like the workbook type stuff. Um, what's that called? The uh, theory. The theory stuff. And it was a small class, maybe like 12 people at the most like 12 or 13, not many, and, uh, you know, we live in the south, we're like deep south Georgia kind of south, and, um, excuse me, and so of course, you know, people, when, when you're that, when people are that similar in a small room, and they've got free time, they're going to talk about things, and they were talking about a lot of things that I personally did not, dis did not agree with, things like, um, you know, gay marriage, and, transsexual people and just really really ignorant shit like that and I got annoyed and as I tend to do I put up a post on Facebook saying sometimes I wonder if I'm the only non-straight atheist left-leaning person in this class and then um my sister commented what do you mean non-straight and so I said um you know, I thought you guys knew. Like, I, I thought you figured it out. And she said, uh, no, we had no idea. Why are you telling the internet instead of us? And so I said something along the lines of, um, fear of judgment and bullshit, perhaps? And then she got really mad at that. So, <laughs> I talked to her on Messenger for a little while, and then I said, you know what? Fuck it. I put up a post that says, you know what? Fuck it. I'm not straight. At all. I am pansexual, which means that I can feel attraction, either romantic, aesthetic, or sexual, toward anyone, regardless of gender. Male, female, you know, trans, even though that's not really a gender. You know, people who don't have a gender, people who are intersex, things like that. I, it doesn't matter what's in a person's pants. To me, what matters is what's in their heart. And I put that up. And, uh, I sat and I waited. It's hot in here. I sat and I waited for, uh, a response. And, uh, a couple of people commented, you know, they were really supportive. One of my cousins, I forget who, said something along the lines of, oh, but I thought you were married. I'm like, yeah, I am. But what does that have to do with anything? And she goes... Oh, no, I didn't mean it like that. I'm like, okay, then what did you mean it like? You know, because some people will say, like, you know, like, some people, if they hear that someone in a straight-looking relationship is bi or anything else like that, they assume that they're a cheater, which is bullshit. Seriously? Now, I don't know if that's what she was saying, um, but that's kind of what it sounded like to me. But anyway, she dropped it, and, um, you know, a lot of people were really supportive, um, you know, I talked to my sister, I talked to my dad, I talked to Shane, and I did not hear from my mother for a good almost 24 hours. And I spent, I see you looking at me over there, I spent a good, um, probably from the time I posted till I went to bed, and from the time I woke up till I finally called her, I was freaking out. Because, you know, I love my mom, and she's very open-minded, but at the same time, I think what was stressing me out was that I kept trying to call her, and she wasn't answering her phone. Which is something that happens once in a while, but she didn't answer her phone, like, after five or six calls. Which is not like my mother, so I assumed that she was pissed at me for something. I would assuming that it was had to do with what I had posted and so I'm freaking out I'm like fuck what's gonna you know what's gonna happen to me and I'm freaking out I'm freaking out I'm texting dad I'm texting Miranda I'm like please tell mom to pick up her phone and I didn't hear back from them either um this was 
about a year ago, so Miranda's senior year of high school. So they had a lot of shit going on, basically. Uh, sorry, eyebrows. And so I did. I just, I was stressed out. The biggest thing for me was not exactly what my family would think, but what Shane's family would think. Because if you don't know, his relatives are, are good people. They're very nice. But as far as worldviews and like politics and shit like that goes, we're on opposite ends of the spectrum. His mom is battery low. Shit, turn it off. Um, his mom is very... Uh, you know, she's Catholic, she's conservative, she's Fox News, that, a person like that. And um, it's really fucking hot in here, I'm gonna have to wrap this up. And so, you know, I was really concerned, like, if what if she finds out? What is she gonna say? Is she gonna cut us off? Because, you know, we were getting some financial help from her, she was paying for me to go to school. And so I'm freaking out, and Shane looks at me, he, sa he sat me down, like, I was on the verge of a panic attack. He sat me down and he said, Dory, look. If they have something to say to you about it, they're going to talk to me. You're my wife. I don't give a shit. They're going to have to talk to me first. And they're going to have to deal with me. Which was such a relief. It's so hot in here. It was just, it was a huge relief. And, um, I went to class the next day. And, you know, we weren't really doing a whole lot. The first half of the class, which is, again, like the workbook theory stuff. I was already, I think, mostly done with that. And so, um... What I wound up doing is I stepped outside and sat on the stairs to the building and called my mom again and again and again. You know, I was watching the little frogs and lizards crawl around and I called her again, called her a fifth time, I think. And she finally answered the phone. I'm like, oh my God, mom, why haven't you answered your damn phone? She goes, I don't remember why exactly. I want to say it was something like the uh, battery was low. Excuse me while I wipe my face. So, um... <sighs> Yeah, it's just, uh, so I'm talking to her, and I'm like, so did you see what I put up last night? She goes, no. Um, I'm like, okay. Um, or no, I think she said something like Miranda brought it up or something like that. And I told her, I'm like, well, I thought that you weren't answering your phone because you were pissed off at me. And she goes, no. I mean, I'm a little irritated you told the internet before your family, which is understandable. But, um, she wasn't really, like, upset with me. She was more confused as to what it meant, I believe. And so, you know, I told her, I told her to look at it this way. I love Shane. I'm not leaving him. I'm not going to start screwing animals. I don't know why people always think that. Why do you people think that? It's like, oh, this is a slippery slope. People are going to start marrying dogs and cars. I'm like, no, what? What? <sighs> anyway, um, and so, you know, she was kind of confused as to what it meant. And I told her, think of Captain Jack from Doctor Who. For him, alien, human, male, female, it doesn't matter. I'm like that. Call me Captain. And after that, she got it immediately. And I felt so much better after talking to my mom. Because that was like the biggest stressor for me. Uh, but yeah. So, that's basically my story. It wasn't, you know, crazy, dramatic, whatever. Because I had um, kind of... Excuse me. I kind of hinted at my parents that I was bisexual before. And, um, the thing about me coming out as pan is I didn't realize that there was a word for it. You know, because I'd known people that didn't identify as either gender or that, you know, didn't have one. And so I was, you know, and I got to thinking about them in a certain way. And I'm like, well, you know, what is this? And then Tumblr, always Tumblr, um, you know, I found out what it was through that. And it was just really you know, really opened up my eyes. I'm like, that's, that's me. That's what this is. And so that's, that's basically it. Not dramatic, not stressful. I didn't get thrown out of the house. I didn't, you know, have anything seriously bad happen. And I'm very grateful for that because I know that there are people out there who go through such terrible things when they come out to their families. And that's not fair. That's wrong. And I really, really feel for you guys. Um, Anyway, and so yeah, that's my story, and just figured I would share. I'm sweating, it's been 10 minutes, and my car battery's actually almost dead, so I'm gonna go back inside and wait for Shane to get his teeth finished up. Alright, um, thank you guys very much for watching. Um, like, share, you know, tell your own stories in the comments. 
um, I'd love to hear, you know, what you, what you guys have gone through and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next thing of whatever I make, which I'm not sure what that will be yet. But anyway, bye.